o'clock will resume on my mark. Three, two, one, mark. And we're now at T minus nine minutes and counting. The ground launch sequencer is now controlling the countdown up until the T minus 31 second mark will in, when it will hand off to the computers on board Discovery for the last 31 seconds. For the last 31 seconds, Discovery is in complete control of all activities regarding the launch. And all of the computers on board will be voting as to the readiness of all systems to ignite the three main engines and finally the twin solid rocket boosters. And in about 15 seconds, we should see the orbiter access arm begin to retract from the access hatch. PLS is go for OAA retract. And this can be moved back into position around the access hatch in about 30 seconds uh, if there should be some kind of an emergency and the crew needed to get off. RPS, start APU strip chart recorders. Yes, copy. DLT, perform APU pre start. APU pre start in work. T minus six minutes. The command for the pilot to start the auxiliary power units is coming up here in about 30 seconds. husband now flipping three switches on the cockpit to start the auxiliary power units. And report that we have three good auxiliary power units.
And the orbiter's flight controls are now being moved through their area of travel. The rudder being moved. Now the three main engines are being gimbaled or steered through their reign of travel. position. Pressurizing the lock tank should begin momentarily. And next we will see the gaseous oxygen vent arm be retracted, the beanie cap from over the top of the external tank. Minus one minute, 45 seconds. One minute, 30 seconds. Turtle tank at flight pressure. Three engines on discovery are ready. And the sound suppression water system is now being armed. We're now turning off the solid rocket booster joint heaters. One minute. Final check now of the solid rocket booster commands. Liquid oxygen and liquid hydrogen fill and drain valves are closed. External tank strut heaters are now off. Payload bay vent doors now being positioned. Standing by for the handoff to Discovery's computers. The handoff has, con has occurred. The ground launch sequencer has handed off to Discovery's computers, which are now controlling the countdown. SRB nozzle gimbal complete. Firing chain is armed. T minus 15 seconds. Sound suppression water system is now activating. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And liftoff of Space Shuttle Discovery on the first mission to dock with the orbiting International Space Station. And the vehicle has cleared the tower. And Houston Discovery roll program. Roger, roll, Discovery. Houston now controlling. Roll maneuver complete. Discovery now in a heads down, wings level position, headed to a 173 nautical mile orbit, inclined 51.6 degrees to either side of the equator. is now throttling down to 67% of rated thrust as the orbiter passes through the area of maximum aerodynamic pressure. Three engines now back up at 104%. Go at throttle up. Roger Houston, go at throttle up. Discovery's three liquid fuel engines now back at full throttle, 104% of rated thrust. 
altitude now eight and a half miles down range six miles One minute, 30 seconds into the flight with more than two and a quarter million pounds of propellant having already been used. Discovery now weighs half of what it did at liftoff. Standing by for the next major event, which will be the burnout and separation of the two solid rocket boosters that occur in a little more than two minutes into flight. Booster officer confirms good separation of the solid rocket boosters. To the rendezvous officer in mission control.